Hi there, it's Carrie from GetAnorwexWebsite.com. I want to show you how to make what's called a table of contents for your Zencart website. A table of contents means that rather than clicking on a link, like say if we click on, on organics, we get a page of information, a website page. That's just a plain old web page and I showed you how to do that in a different video. Uh, sometimes you want to group several pages together though and that's what we did here in the Norwex FAQ section. When we click on that we see that there are actually four pages in a table of contents. We have the FAQ page, we also have Norwex Microfiber FAQ, we have a usage guide, and we have scientific studies on Norwex Microfiber all grouped together under this one tab at the top, Norwex FAQ. And I'm going to show you how to do that. These buttons on the top um, the one at the far left has the lowest number in order. So say this is 10, this would be 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. We're going to make one here and I'm just going to call it 100, okay, just so that we know for sure it'll go to the farthest right on the top menu, okay. So in the back end, we go to Tools, Easy Pages, and we're going to click New File. Okay, say that our plan for this table of contents is we're going to write all about chemical cleaners and how horrible they are for us and we're going to talk about bleach and we're going to talk about oven cleaner and we're going to talk about all kinds of terrible household chemicals and the effect they have on people and animals and how um, maybe we're going to make some recommendations for some Norwex products that we carry that would um, be a better alternative. Okay, so uh, let's just call it chemical cleaners. Okay, and we're going to say that yes we want this in the header and we're going to put it in order 100 which is going to put it at the far right on our top bar. No we don't want it in our side box. No we don't want it in the footer. We are going to make it a chapter and I know that I don't already have a chapter 100 so I'm going to make it chapter 100 but you could make it any chapter number that doesn't already exist in your easy pages. In the table of contents we're going to say it's order 10 which means it's going to be the first one to show up. So say that um, on this page we're going to talk about bleach is bad, uh, it's really horrible, we might you know, quote some studies, maybe make a link back to uh, an alternative that Norwex has that would mean people didn't have to use bleach. Okay, and when we're ready we click insert. Okay, now on the front end of our site if we refresh uh, that chemical cleaners link is here. So I'm going to click it and you'll see when I get there that it's just right now it's just one page, okay, just like any other page. Now to make a table of contents we need to remember what number we made the chapter and we made the chapter 100. So we're going to make a new file and we're going to also put that one into chapter 100. So this one is going to be about uh, oven cleaner. Cleaner is dangerous, say. Okay, and so we're going to say no we don't want this one to show in the header because we just want the first page or the first page of our um, TOC to show. The rest we don't. TOC meaning table of content, contents. No to the side box, no to the footer. We want this to go in chapter 100 and we want it to be in order 20. Okay, and this one is going to be about oven cleaner is also really bad. Okay, when we click insert, then when we refresh our page, I'll click it again up here, chemical cleaners, then we now we have two pages in our table of contents, chemical cleaners and oven cleaner is dangerous. So we can keep going like that, we can make, I'll make one more here, um, we'll make one about uh, fabric softener. Fabric softener is horrible stuff, which it is. If you don't know anything about fabric softener, take a little time and look it up because it's really scary stuff. Okay, header, no, side box, no, footer, no, chapter, still chapter 100, and we're going to make it in order. Let's say we want it between um, the first page and the second page. Our first one is page uh, order 10, second page is order 20. Let's make this one 15, and uh, um, put some text in there, you can add pictures, that kind of thing. When you're ready you click insert. Ok, 
Okay, and then if I click again on this chemical cleaners page, now I see I have chemical cleaners. I have fabric softeners, horrible, and I have oven cleaner is dangerous. Okay, so you can go on like that indefinitely and add pages upon pages upon pages upon pages and that's how you make a table of contents. Now you may decide that you have things up in your top bar here that you want to reorganize a little bit. Like for example if you click on the organics link at the top it is just its very own page. It's not part of a table of contents and you might think well I don't care enough about organics to have it have its very own tab. I'm going to put it into the Norwex FAQ tab. So to do that, we go to the admin area and we find the chapter that contains all of the information in the Norwex FAQ section. And we can see that Norwex FAQ, Norwex microfiber usage and studies on microfiber are in chapter 10 and they're ordered 10, 20, 30, and 40. So I need to look for my organics link. Here it is. It's currently a, a yes for the header. It's turned on for the header. We want to click edit and we're going to say no we don't want it showing in the header but yes we do want it showing in chapter 10 and we'll make it order uh, 50 to make sure that it goes at the end and when we're happy with that we click update and then you can see the link here it says organics um, when we refresh the link to organics is gone and if we click on Norwex FAQ then we can see that there's the organics link at the bottom there. Okay, So that's how you can reorganize existing content on your website. You may also decide that this about Norwex button here it only just leads to the history of Norwex. Okay, So you might decide well I'd really like that to also be in the Norwex chapter and I'd like to just have everything together there. So you need to find it and it is called about Norwex. Here it is up here we click edit on that and we say no don't show it in the header yes show it uh, let's put it in order uh, 70 and in chapter 10 and because it's a page on the history of Norwex we would like to call it that just for clarity when people are clicking through that table of contents and then we say update and if we go back to the front end and refresh that page will disappear out of the header and then in the Norwex FAQ section we'll see there's history of Norwex now at the bottom. Okay. Now whatever you call your first page of your table of contents uh, that's what shows on the link. Okay. Norwex FAQ is what shows on the link here. So you might want to change that to something that makes more sense. In this case um, Norwex FAQ we might want to say uh, that's going to be our about Norwex link or about, about Norwex section instead of calling it FAQ. Okay, and if I do that, then when I click uh, refresh here, I will see it now says about Norwex here and it says about Norwex here on the first page. Okay, um, that's it. That's how you make a table of contents and how you reorganize information on your site. And hope you have fun with that.